A dilapidated, big, abandoned motorhome with caution tape around it. Whoa. This is definitely super eerie in here. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. Somewhere in this Walmart behind me is my wife, Marissa. We're here in Ocala, Florida. We slept in this Walmart last night. Today, we're taking you on a camping adventure again with our great friends from Honey Eye Rome. Amber and Julieta, if you didn't watch our previous video, we visited them while they were working at a tree lot in the month of December as their wintertime income. Today, they invited us to go camping at a campground that they had bought a spot for. We're all loaded up. We got firewood with us that we brought and we've got our brand new portable generator that we're gonna give you guys a review on from All Powers. This is not a paid ad, not a paid sponsorship, so it's gonna be a real review and I've got some critical points. Now, time for some camping. here at Bear Hammock Equestrian Preserve. Amber and Julieta aren't here yet. First thing we're gonna do is get our all power solar generator out and their 400 watt panel. We're gonna set that up, show you how we do that. On our ride here, we were charging it up by having it plugged into the cigarette outlet and we we're pulling in about 100 watts. So the solar panel that came with this thing is huge. And if I'm getting right into a complaint the size and weight of the solar panel is definitely one of my qualms with this thing. So here's the solar panel for this all power solar generator. It's a big boy. It's probably, if I'm guessing, 35 pounds. I'll put up the actual weight here on the screen and see how good I was at guessing. Let's set this thing up. I'll show you how big it is. So the good part is it's a 400 watt solar panel, so it kicks some serious power. You could definitely use this to recharge the battery bank on our camper, in addition to charging the solar generator. To plug the solar generator in is super easy. I like to tuck the generator in the shade spot behind the solar panels, just to keep it a little cooler. It's got a big old exhaust fan in it so that it's blowing all the hot air out and bringing fresh air in. So the setup comes with your connection for the solar panels, really easy. And the side of the solar panel is the other end of your connectors. Someone told me once to plug in the panels first and then plug it into the inverter versus the other way around. I don't think it would really matter, but that's what people in the comment section said. So quick recap on the difference. This panel setup is definitely really lightweight, easy to move around, only makes 200 watts. Super flexible panels, so they aren't as efficient. The all power one, 400 watts, definitely way heavier, a little bit harder to maneuver around if you're a smaller person. Semi-rigid panels, semi-flexible panels, so definitely gonna be more efficient in terms of their output. They're both awesome, they serve slightly different purposes. We're stoked to have a ton of power production going on here today. What's up ladies? We're so glad that you're here and That's that we're true. camping together. So excited. All right, let's get you guys set up. A quick check on how the power station's doing. We're at 81% battery and this thing will be stored up and charged up before we know it. So we got all this wood the other day when we were at a hip camp, which was our first hip camp experience, pretty neat. So self-admitted, this is our first time using the dirt bike carrier for hauling wood and it's great. At this hip camp, we were able to take as much wood as we wanted. It was the back of a commercial construction building lot. And they said, take whatever you want, burn whatever you want. And so I loaded this whole thing up to save us from having to buy wood.
Don't judge me as you watch this. My blade is pretty dull, so it's not just because it's a cute little Ryobi that it's slow. It's because I need to put a new chain on there, and I don't want to. So my battery died from a chainsaw. Typical battery issues. Plug it on in. Turn it on to AC. And we're charging. Got a lot of ants on it. <laughs> Look, I'm working. <laughs> Firewood, it'll heat you three times when you cut it, when you split it, and when you burn it. Yeah, he got it figured out. What are you making, buddy? We're gonna make some sausage and peppers and onions. That's classic camping, right? Yeah, super classic. We got some keto buns. For With me. Eric and Marissa, we, we get healthy out here. Let me look underneath that lid there, buddy. Eating good tonight. Let's grab a sausage. Look at that, we got a good old busting sausage. Nice. That looks beautiful. Do you want it on top? Sure. That's not beautiful. too bad. Thanks, what friend. is it? Your pile shrinking? Oh man, it is. Schwarzenegger back here doing her morning lift. Let's see what the ladies are doing. Ladies! Good morning. How's everybody doing good today? Good morning. Good morning, YouTube world. It's good to see you all today. Uh, we're we're just been filming. Welcome to our morning meeting. Yep. Yeah. This, this is our morning meeting. Yeah, this is when we talk about our business things that we want to for the day. So I just drafted up a brand deal script and now I'm asking Juliet if she likes it. <laughs> nice. What brand? This is for better help. Okay. It's an online therapy resource. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm feeling like it's going to be a good integration into our lives. Yeah. yeah. How could it be bad, you know? So I'm going to film you filming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, so it back on. They've got a much more legit camera than us. This thing's dope. Hi, Eric. Good morning. Hey, Julietta. We're getting filmed right now and it feels good. Yeah. So funny how whenever like I'm just sitting here talking to the camera, but when someone's filming me, it feels like a little more self-conscious, you know? Do you feel that same way? I feel exactly that <laughs> same way. So, <laughs> that's why when we hung out with you guys at the tree lot, yeah. when you were like asking yeah, me to like say something, I was like, girl. just Good just morning. give me the camera because I feel way more comfortable like holding the camera rather than like having you guys pointing it at me. <laughs> no, it's so weird. It's such a psychological thing, I swear. Yeah. How are you, Marissa? Good morning. Get the Marissa good? Graham. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so we found what we thought was just a neighboring RV, and turns out it's like a dilapidated, big Class A motorhome with caution tape around it. Abandoned. Abandoned. So we're going to go check it out, even though it says, you know, caution. All right, everybody put on your detective hat. It says fire, fired line, do not enter, so yeah.
doesn't look like it was the fridge. Usually that's like the culprit that you assume. Whoa. This is definitely super eerie in here. The whole thing being burnt to shit and it's got a obvious aroma of fire. It's amazing how quickly something goes from being like a normal RV on the outside to looking like a horror scene on the inside. Yeah, kind of hard to tell. My detective skills are not good enough to know what caused this fire. Did somebody like sit at the driver's seat and have a cigarette until it burnt? So strange. Just a reminder, RV safety guys. Yeah. Seriously. Is this isn't a spot. You know, so it's not like they were camping here and it happened because this is not one of the camping spots. Our end synopsis is we don't know exactly what happened, but it's definitely weird and eerie. It's good little entertainment during our day here to break it up and go check out something you definitely don't see every day. That was a hike, right? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Winston. So that was a hike, right? Marissa came through with the drinks too, so let's see. Look at that, we've been drinking champagne with passion fruit juice, and this is different, it's really good. It's tequila and passion fruit. A margarita, margarita, passion fruit margarita. Margarita fruiterita. <laughs> margarita fruiterita, mm, it smells good. All right, let's try my cookie cake. OMG! Is it good? Okay, Yum. I was worried. Moist and then crispy on the outside. Buttery? Mm. I didn't mm. know you like snickerdoodle. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's actually like the cookie me and my mom bond over, actually. Snickerdoodle flavored everything. I'm gonna do one more bite. And so then YouTube what? can hear the crunch. Oh. Crispy. Mm. I don't know how um, she knows where mine are. Yours are on top. Yours are on top. Top? Yeah, the top four, yeah, I think. Me and top you both layer was. Those. There's layers? Yeah. yeah, there's another layer underneath. Oh my god. You don't know gosh. what our layers look like until you. Exactly. Homemade enchiladas by Amber and Julieta. <gasps> wow, they're so sexy. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I'm excited. Would you like some saffron? Rice? Oh, yeah. Do you know what saffron is? It's uh, that stuff that you tell me will stain everything. No, that's turmeric. Oh. Saffron is the most expensive spice in the world. It's an Indian spice. I'm so I'm gonna do my so best Julieta impression. Wait. One of my favorite things that you do in your videos is how you describe the food. Your food descriptions are so like oh, well so well spoken pretty. and stuff. Mm. All right, so super flavorful, really savory. The tortilla on the outside is perfect. It's nice and soft without being too, it's not like uh, gooey by any means. I'm thinking that if I have beans, rice, and the enchilada all on one, it's That's gonna be the trifecta. Be it. It's gonna be the trifecta in their yeah, mouth. Let's see, I'll try it at the same time. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mmm. 
Good morning. Got that day old black coffee. Extra strong, extra bitter. Beautiful day out. It was definitely chilly last night. It was like 41 degrees for a low or so. Had the diesel heater on. Comfy, cozy. We're packing it up quickly here. We just learned that if we want to go kayaking today as a group, we have to be there by 1130. And it's, what, about 930 or so? So we got to all get packed up, get ready, and get to the kayaking place. We learned a little bit about how that RV burnt down yesterday. What did we learn, guys? So there's a neighbor here, and he, he gave me the scoop. And there was this couple. They were in their 30s, about. They stayed here a couple of nights, and then they moved the camper, went on a walk, came back, said, oh, it's on fire, it's on fire. All the cops came, and that was that. And I said, well, they were extremely organized. We saw their organization system of their tools and screws, and he said, I don't think that was them who did that. So maybe it came that way, maybe they took it, I don't know. But it seems sketchy. This all power solar generator, they're all pretty heavy. Carry it by one handle. It puts out more power than the last solar generator I had. And they're honestly about the same physical size. The last one I had peaked out at like 600 watts. This one peaks out at 4,000 watts. Quite a bit more juice for the squeeze. So I ran it out to 26% yesterday using my computer, which is nice because then I didn't have to worry about draining the batteries in the camper. And now we'll just let it sit here and charge while we drive around today and get some free energy. So we're headed to Rainbow Springs today to go kayaking. And then we got a harvest host that we're headed to tonight. There should be four rigs at this harvest host tonight. It's a farm. Pretty close to the the springs up here after our about a mile paddle up river. Team Honey I Roam is over there swimming in the water. Team Cummins Camper is staying warm and dry. <laughs> we should be more excited about the water temperatures than people from New Jersey, but these Floridians are loving this water. It would be a nice shower would make for a nice makeshift shower. So we're gonna start our float back down. Should be a really nice, easy trip back. The current's gonna carry us most of the way. The wind's gonna help push us. Minimal paddling, 99% relaxing. over here at a gas station so the girls could get fuel and I decided to bring the solar generator inside that way while we're driving I can charge off of the inverter of the truck camper the campers batteries are topped off completely and 
So at this point, the solar panels are gonna put it into flow. The DC to DC charger is not gonna put out a whole lot of juice. And so rather than only getting 90 watts of power out of the 12 volt outlet inside, we're gonna get 325 or so watts. So we went from 26% this morning when we started to about 35 just from running it off of the 12 volt outlet. And now we're gonna let this thing top off for the rest of the afternoon so that we're completely charged up. And then I'll be able to run my laptop and do my editing that I have to do tonight without consuming power off of the camper's batteries. It's pretty nice. That way we can run the Starlink more often, charge other things more often. I'm pretty pumped to have a solar generator around for that quiet, sustainable power. So since we've been here at the Harvest House with Amber and Julieta, we've been just hanging out. I cooked dinner for them. We made smash burgers again like the last time we were with them. It was a great success. And so now Marissa's doing some dishes before we go to bed here. But tomorrow morning, I'll take you for a walk around the farm and show you guys all the different animals they got. They've got a turkey who's very interesting. He wants to be all over you at all times but also bit Amber tonight. There's goats that also assaulted Amber. Uh, there's a couple of pigs. There's a bunch of chickens. So it's pretty neat set up here. The hosts are incredibly nice people and we've had a great time so far. So I'll show you guys all that tomorrow. Slept so well here really quiet harvest host location so one of the neat parts about this harvest host is tommy tommy the turkey he's kind of weird he's a stage five clinger and wants to be next to you all the time ladies and gentlemen tommy check it out Tommy apparently gets explicitly pissed if you sit down or when you bring inanimate objects out into his general area, he gets defensive. I had to like throw a part of our chair. It was like the red part. I was like, maybe he doesn't like red. Every time I picked it up, he would just attack it and stomp on it. I had to like sneak it. I had to grab it and just throw it in the truck real quick and close the door. So the boxes that I was dealing with yesterday that he hated, also red. Mm, I think it's a thing. I wonder if it's a thing. Here, I'll pet him. What if I just started being overly affectionate to him? Maybe he'll back off a little bit. Oh. Seems like it. He seems like he wants to be the one given the love. How'd you guys sleep in at this lovely harvest house? Yes, I love it here. The people are amazing. This property is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that was a really good sleep. Yeah, super good sound. We were gonna do a Walmart. That yes. was the other option. So this was a huge win over that. Really, these people are really cool and they have a beautiful property set up, like 10 acres out here. What a dream, right? Yeah. A little cabin they have put up. Yeah, super cute. Yeah. I mean, how hospitable, right? Like Incredibly nice people. Uh -huh. Yeah, very generous. Good call on our part. Yeah, we did well. Glad we did it. I'm gonna take them for a walk around the property and yes, show it all sure. off. So let's Bye, go guys. look. So they got a variety of different chickens here. We used to have chickens back in New Jersey. They're fun. They're a fair bit of work if you don't have super open land and a guard dog and roosters and a big turkey that'll help defend everything. We just had hens and they were kind of susceptible to prey. Let's go start to say our goodbyes to Honey I Roam. It'll be sad. Hopefully we'll see them in Colorado this summer, but I'm not sure. I think they're leaning Vermont. Good morning, sir. Yeah, hey, buddy. You know, most. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've had enough of you today already. You can't get rid of him. I know. He's a stage five clinger. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a pretty... Yes. He was fixated on me a lot yesterday. Yeah, when I was standing by their camper door, he was just like rubbing my legs in circles. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Come here, Tommy. Come here. No. See, it's like he, you can't be playing, acting like you want it to. Such a oh, Hopefully, oh, bye. It was so bye. nice to meet you. It was a pleasure to meet you. We'll oh, miss yeah. you guys. Yeah, Please okay. choose Colorado. Ooh, I'll give you my generator. <laughs> literally, I won't need it all summer. That you can just have a loaner <laughs> generator. That would be amazing. All summer. I literally I'm, don't like, need taking it. taking you Cute. on your word for that. Yeah. <laughs> we love you. Yeah, we love you too, but I'm sure we're going to get to see you again soon. Like five more times. Yeah. yeah. So soon. Yeah. yeah. Yay. We've been saying goodbyes to a lot of people, and then we just keep running into them, and we're like, mm -hmm. well, it's goodbye for just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It really is. It's always so hard saying goodbye, but it'll be nice to get to see them again soon. Yeah. Tommy! <laughs> Tommy's coming home with us. Big thanks for watching our video of us going camping with Honey I Roam. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications. Our next video, we're gonna be heading west. We're leaving Florida and we're gonna migrate westward. We're also gonna tell you a little bit more about what we got going on for this summer. And last but not least, if you're considering a power station, be sure to check out All Powers. Use my promotion code in the description below. Thanks so much, have a great day, bye.